What's up guys, Noble Vigilance here. So we're gonna do a uh, BMW 428i kidney grill stripe installation. First off, I wanna thank Evan for giving me this hat for, my, for uh, Christmas. And it looks very nice. Pretty cool and I, and I like it a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna leave this here. Actually, I'll wear it. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be installing stripes on the kidney grill. Now I'm gonna ask my father what side he wants it on. Okay, so this is the 428 kidney grill. And his is blacked out, so it has the uh, the lines where we're going to be putting them. As you can see, they're different sizes and design. So it should be relatively easy. I'm going to ask him what side he wants it on real quick. So I will be right back with you guys. So he says he wants it on the driver's side. So of course, the driver's side is on the left side. Um, so we're going to put it right here. All right. See how it goes. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to clean off the grill just to make sure there's no grime or anything on it. So. Let's try and just put some Windex on the towel a little bit. Come on, let's go. Shake it up. So first, we're spraying the grill right now. Get any grime off of it just to make sure that we have a clean finish. We don't want any uh, bubbles in the uh, stickers. It's not really that hard to clean the grill, so we're gonna wipe this down real quick. Wipe down even the in the inside yeah all right so the grill is clean so now we have different sizes here so what we need to do is we need to pull the slip out and i'm just gonna uh actually we have actually a dark blue as well Too baby blue Oh, that's my father. We have a dark blue here, and we also have a light blue. So let me ask my father's opinion. Be right back. So actually, Gabe just gave me an idea to do to, to match the jacket. So we're not actually going to include the white. We're just going to include the light blue, the red, and we're going to going to include the dark blue in a sequence of red, dark blue, and light blue. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and size this. Hold the phone, please, sir. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to size it up with this one. So let's see. And it goes from the top down. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it from the top down. But we are going to... The, the problem is the grill is a regular. It's fatter on the top and it's skinnier in the middle. So... Alright, so I'm going to uh, record Gabe. Uh, the thing is the grill is a bit irregular, so we might have a bit of an issue trying to get it on and look, making it look perfectly nice. But we are going to do our best. He's going to try and curve it to the side. Go from the top down. You'll, you'll have it easier there. I'm just going to go from the bottom, because the bottom I can line it up. Gotcha. We would have to cut it and then do like two lines of that. You know, you know? how hard that's going to be? I mean, that's like the only choice. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Cause this isn't straight up and down like that. Let me try. Get that off. That's kind of wreck. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut it and make our own part of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right here. Careful the grill. You have to, you have to wrap yeah, it around. You have to hold it there. I'll reline it. This is not really made for my grill. This is made for the black grill that has thicker fins. That's why it's not looking right. Probably gonna eventually come off. No, and the adhesive dries in 24 yeah. hours. That's why you have to hold it here for a while. Okay, so we got um, this situated a little bit. We just have to hold the sides right, a bit. Let's get the red, because I'm about to lose some. Okay. It's dark blue in the middle, and then red on the right. Like with the light on it, it reflects. Oh, it's metallic. Look at that. That's look, awesome. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Get the. And it's not straight. Sort of annoy that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm OCD too, a little bit. I get it from my mom. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. You have the blade? Good nice cut. Be careful of the grill. I know. You were saying be careful and all that? It scares it out of me. <laughs> Perfecto. Now hold the side up. Rise that up and hold it. Alright, we're gonna put the red on now. I'll give you some space with the phone. That one's so easy. It's, it's a bit shorter, right? Okay, we got that. Straight. You have to do that after you cut it off. Sorry about the sun glare, guys. The sun's kind of setting over here. So it's... Oh, sweet. Get that bulb there. Down. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Do you want to put these on your car? Because you already got stripes. It wouldn't go on my car very well. Um, Actually, we can give it a shot. So, Gabe had a brilliant idea to actually um, modify the stickers and cut them and trim them so they can fit on the very top part of the grill. So that's what we did for the blue one and my father said he likes it so we're going to do that for the rest of them. Try to overlap them too much. What BMW does is they actually legit paint the grill. So, stickers looking this good is actually very surprising. There we go. Looks okay. Um, can you add something to it, like right here? Gosh, okay. Or you could just try and overlap it and just and just uh, put it all on the side. And see how we did this? We did this in like in like two sections. This one's in three. One, two, three. Try and overlap it and just make it just look like one. <coughs> Side a little bit more, side a little bit more. So we had to improvise a bit more on this, but we did get this one. So we're gonna go with the bright baby blue one. See you soon. So we finally got the baby blue one to go on. Uh, I have to hold it down here a little bit because it wants to come up. So we got it finally, and it looks um, great for a DIY. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and also my friend Evan did buy these for the cars, for our car as well, so. Really do appreciate it, Evan. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna get a couple of shots here once I move the car for Gabe, and then we'll see where we go from there. Peace out. All right, everyone, so here's the final product. It's kind of hard to tell any flaws from a distance, so that's a really good sign. So, a bit of a special for you guys. A couple of good shots of the car, and then I'll get on going inside.